Okay, here are the top 10 power electronics books that I highly recommend to upgrade your game as a switch mode power supply designer, control systems engineer, and power electronics engineer. Let's get started. So these are the books I personally use to become really good at power electronics engineering and design. And the first book is Switch Mode Power Supplies by Christoph Basso. Why do I recommend this book? It's because it's a nice soft introduction to switch mode power supplies. Things are properly explained. And most importantly, you can do the spy simulations in practical designs because you want to apply the theoretical knowledge you're learning, right? I've been through a number of beginner power electronics books and they do not do enough application, especially with simulation. So for circuit simulation, you can use LT spies or whatnot. Maybe P spies is totally up to you, but get the application in. The next book is the transfers functions of switching converters. If you're working with power electronics, you're naturally going to, at some point, need to understand control loops. And in order to understand the control loops or to control anything, you need to have a suitable plant. A plant is basically a model of what you're trying to control. So transfer functions, being able to derive the transfer function for a closed loop control thing requires knowing the transfer function and model for your plant and also the control loop. So you want to pick up this book. It's it's specific to switching converters. And again, it's the same author, very good author, highly recommend it. Now, once you understand the transfer functions of the converters themselves, you're ready for designing control loops for the linear and switching power supplies. There's definitely overlap, obviously, of, of course, with these books, but you get more in depth explanations and what I really like about this is it's a tutorial guide. Same author, Christoph Basso, I would say, hands down, this is the best power electronics book I've ever owned because of the way that the material is taught. So I highly recommend this. If there's no book you get here, get this book. Once you know how to do the control, then you're looking at a power switching converters. This is power switching converters, third edition, get the third edition, not the second edition by Dr. Simon Ang. Dr. Ang was one of my professors. He was my professor for power electronics. And this is an amazing book because it covers not only the theory, but again, the practical along with the simulations in Peace Spice. It's one of the few books or sources where I found the actual spice like ORCAD capture spice circuitry that actually worked. This is what helped me uh, do my project for my masters. The next thing you want to do is go full on relearning power electronics from the guy himself, Dr. Slobodan Chuk, the inventor of the Chuk converter. So I got these books because I took Dr. Chuk's advanced power electronics class and he said, hey, you need to get volumes one through four, his books. So I got all the books and I also took his live class after that as well. So if you're not familiar with Dr. Chuk, He's one of the greats in power electronics. Amazing gentleman, very funny. Okay, I, and then you can, so you're gonna be relearning electronics, power electronics from volumes one through four and then taking the class, okay? After that, you want to possibly get into simulation in MATLAB and Simulink, okay? I mean, if you're, if you're in control systems, you're doing control system research, you know how to use or you at least know about MATLAB Simulink for closed loop control, open loop, yeah, whatever the case may be. So just control in general. So the simulation of power electronics MATLAB Simulink, you need to be able to do that. In previous books, you're probably using P Spice, LT Spice, and this one, MATLAB Simulink, all right? You'd be using like the Simscape library, the the Power Sim library, and you know, your your code in there and everything. And then this is still, we're still in the analog control domain, mind you, the continuous control. Before you get into any kind of digital control, I highly recommend the this book, Digital Control, A State Space Approach by Vaccaro. I talked to Vaccaro via email, you know, thanked him for easing me into using his book easing me into digital control because making the jump, you need some kind of understanding of the theoretical concepts when it comes to digital control, a proper understanding. A lot of control books do not do con digital control of power electronics justice, even though you understand digital, 
you know, the digital Z transform uh, of continuous from the continuous domain to the Z domain. Okay, the, the, the discrete domain. Makaro blends these two and, and eases you into it. All right, and, and especially the state transition matrix that he talks about. The next thing after that, now you're ready for digital control, properly ready. I'm not saying you can't jump to this book, but I just recommend this path. Introduction to microcontroller programming for power electronic control applications. So, you know, this is where you're able to use, say, the MSP430 and using MATLAB and Simulink to get your code into the into uh, models, right, in your closed loop control system. Eventually go into digital using Code Composer Studio, having the code fall out for your for your Texas Instrument chip. So very good ecosystem here in this book. After that, you may want to do the digital control of high frequency switch mode power converters. Typically, to avoid switching losses, you don't want to really go too high in frequency, like above pa above 50 kilohertz. But then you can do like one megahertz and whatnot uh, if you know how to if you know how to control the lower frequencies well uh, once you're properly equipped for that. The only thing I only issue I have with this book is that. It's a little too high level. So conceptually, I understood this book, but it was just really hard implementing anything. I didn't, couldn't implement anything. So that's why I had to go back into this book. And there's a, there's another book, actually. There's a yellow book for uh, digital control of power electronics. But then I still had to go back to this book, Digital Control by Vaccaro. This was just a godsend for me. This laid the foundation for all digital control books. Then... Well, that's it. That's your books. Now, I highly recommend two more books. Let's say you're not only into switch mode power supplies because they're mostly switch mode power supplies and you want the general scope of power electronics, inverters, rectifiers, back to back converters, your flyback, which is which, which is a switch mode. But nonetheless, this is a good book. It's not the highest rated book, but it does a good job at giving you a comprehensive overview of all the practical electronics out there, the majority of them. Then you have the Power Electronics Handbook. I mean, when I'm talking about reference, this is the book, okay? It looks like this. This is the fifth edition I have highlighted. Just pick whatever the latest edition is. This covers everything. It's a big book, okay? Big one. And... It's not tutorial based or anything. You're not going to be seeing circuit simulations in here and how to set it up in the piece by no. Uh, but you will get very concise, densely communicated information that's still understandable, but it's understandable if you already know control. Okay. And you kind of need to do at least half of these books prior to here to really understand what it's saying. This is kind of like a recipe, a cookbook, a quick reference to say, hey, I need a type two converter real fast, a type three converter real fast, a type one, because a lot of times think resources online that are fine line for closed loop control and loop compensation and stuff. You can't, it's kind of like they fudge some things sometimes. I don't know, but this book, very reliable. If you want the full list link, I have it here. And this is the Power Electronics Essentials book list. And you can use any of the links here. Now, these are affiliate links. Doesn't hurt you at all to click on them and get the books through these links. Help out your boy. All right. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend these. Do not make the mistakes I made to get proficient or expert level with certain power electronics. Okay. Read these books if you're going to go down this path. Thanks for watching. See you next time.